so weird. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my, I wanted to say October, but we all know it's November. Today's video is going to be my November favorite. I won't be the one that says, oh my God, can you guys believe it's already November? Where has this year gone? Okay, I said it, but. I didn't want to. One quick announcement, I am gonna be doing a Vlogmas this year on my vlog channel, which is Laura Lee Vlogs. So if you wanna check that out, it will start December the 1st, which it has already started because it should be December the 2nd right now. Don't forget to show me a little bit of love and give the favorites a thumbs up if you did enjoy. <laughs> We're just gonna jump right in and get started. Jumping right in, you guys know we always start with our favorite TV show and our favorite song of the month. So the favorite TV show this month is Botched. That comes on E! and I have just been so addictive to everybody's stories. However, I have like a fine line of enjoyment and getting very annoyed with the show because whenever you're putting cosmetics before your personal health, I don't see that you are appreciating your precious life. And that gets annoying to me on the show. Sometimes when the episodes go like that, I'm like, I'm out. I can't deal with this person. Nope. And then, okay, my favorite song of the month. <laughs> well, that's easy. It is everybody's favorite song. Maybe not everybody, but definitely mine. It is Adele's Hello. How are you? That song has got me missing people that I don't even know. I'm not like in some very sad emotional state right now. I'm like, I'm good. And But when I listen to that song, I'm like... Is there somebody out there that I really miss? Now talking about beauty products, the first one I want to mention to you guys is the Color Icon by Wet n Wild. Oops, this is their little eyeshadow palette. I don't use these little sponges anyways, but I think this is probably the prettiest eyeshadow palette that they have ever came out with. I saw it at Target and I had to get it. Not to mention it's extremely affordable and you get eight different shades in it. So, I mean, I don't think it's the most pigmented eyeshadow palette in the world, but I will show you really quickly how I make it pigmented. I've been using the Too Faced Glitter Glue and then applying the eyeshadow on my lid. Now, they are really soft and creamy to me. They just aren't long lasting unless you put some hardcore um, primer down like this. They also have one from e.l.f. Cosmetics that is like a glitter glue primer, but it works really well with making the eyeshadow stick onto the lid. Now, as far as blending it out in the crease and all, would not recommend getting the glitter glue around your crease because what I will typically do is do all my crease colors and then apply the glitter glue to the lid and then the eyeshadow of my choice, which mine has been this definer shade at the bottom right here. I'll do close-up swatches. Beautiful. Next, I wanted to talk about my Glossy Box this month. I was super impressed with it, and I love Glossy Box. I remember one time back in the day, I got my Glossy Box, and an Alex and Andy bracelet came in it. So you never know what you're going to get out of a Glossy Box, but that, like, I don't know. I will never forget. My Glossy Box was very impressive for the month of December, which you can still get this box right here. And they gave me a discount code for only the first 100 people that use it. It's just Laura Lee, and you get 20% off. So that is just for the first 100 people again. I'll put it down below as well as a link to Glossy Box if you're interested. It's a $21 box a month. And since Christmas is knocking on our door, I feel like this would be a really cute Christmas gift to give somebody. For my international viewers out there, the box does sell to 10 different countries outside of the United States. So, you know, you can still get your box. And let me share with you what is inside. The first thing is a full-size deluxe mascara. Glossy Box comes with deluxe or full-size stuff. So you're getting a really big bang for your buck. This is a MTGM, I just made that up. That's not what this says. This is a MTJ High Definition Mascara. It has a very unique like bloop 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 wand on it. And it is a rubber wand like woo woo. Not like a bristly wand if you get what I'm saying. One of my favorite things that comes in it is the Simple Sugars Handmade All Natural Body Scrub. This one is in coconut and it smells heavenly. You get a lip gloss. This one is by Gold Label Cosmetics and it is a beautiful bright red color. The thing that you'll get is Color Club in Feverish, a nail polish. This is a beautiful maroon color. And lastly, this is my favorite thing that came in the box. This is a actual glossy box eyeshadow. Let's see. And I really like the color of it. It's like a deep brownie plum. It's almost like it's iridescent where it's like brown, but then you look at it again and it's like, whoa, it's plum. I Eyeshadow is worth $11. Mascara alone is worth $21. The nail polish is worth $8. The lipstick is worth $14. The body scrub is worth $14. I love my glossy box. What I want to talk to you guys about are something you've seen me wear all month long and I've gotten so many questions on 
have I been wearing the naturally Nicole nails or Nicole Guerrero's nails that she came out with with nail her and yes that's exactly what I've been wearing I have been linking them in the description of my in the description of my description box I love these little kitty cat claw nails I feel like Nic Nic I feel like Nicole is such a cat lover like she gets me her nails are fabulous. I will let you guys know my all-time favorites are the Naturally Nicole's. I just got some new sets because I've been popping mine off all around the house. But two more that I love is the Flawless set. And I have also love Whisper. So between Flawless, Whisper, and Naturally Nicole, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Next product I have been adoring is the NARS and Steven Klein co uh, collaboration. The blush palette has actually been my favorite product. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit confused why it comes with the Ida 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 brush in it. Like, wait, what? This palette is popping. I'm gonna be honest, I don't use this shade right here, but these three shades have been my lifeline and I cannot stop using them because I love them so freaking much. We are just gonna have to talk about the packaging for one second because how unique is this? You know, it's kind of like freaky and crazy looking, but at the same time I said, you know, if you're looking at 100 blush palettes, which one's gonna catch your eye? Next product I have to talk to you guys about, like, have to, have to, have to, because I've worn these for three days straight, and I've never had more people ask me what's on my eyelids. This is, these are the Makeup Geek Duochrome Pigments. So they have them in the eyeshadow form, and I feel like the pigments last a lot longer, and they show up crazy intense. They're gorgeous. Tyler came home the other day, and he was like, whoa, when I come over here, your eyeshadow is pink, and when I go over there, it's gold. I was like, <laughs> it's called duochrome. I just seriously think they are the best. I honestly think like if someone bought these and put them as stocking stuffers, like like bought two and dropped them down in the stocking, how cute would that be? Insomnia is my all time favorite one out of any of them. And then hologram would be my second favorite one. I have to support a fellow YouTuber, Tati. I love that girl to death. She is the sweetest person. She does the best reviews on YouTube. If you want a review, a truthful review on something, go to Tati's channel. She came out with some lippies and eyeshadow colors herself. So these are the Love of Color by Tati. Oh girl, I see you. Three matte lipsticks and five one and done eyeshadow sticks. So if you're a girl on the go, the eyeshadow sticks are gonna be marvelous for you. This is one of them right here. It looks like this. It's a little eyeshadow pencil and you can just color. It's so soft and creamy. No lie, so soft and creamy. So you just color it on your lid. You could even pat it out with your finger and you are one and done, baby girl, yes. I love the texture of the lippy pencils because these are matted and I'm all about matte. So they actually roll up like this. So it's kind of like a little lipstick tube here. Great for popping into your purse. Favorite of all the eyeshadow ones is the On Point. On Point. I feel like you need to snap when you say that. Uh, point. This is a very pretty sparkly champagne color, very neutral. I think it would look gorgeous on anybody's eyelids. So again, just color it on your eyelids, pat it out with your finger. I think they're gorgeous and I'm so proud of Tati. So congrats, girl. Finally, I have found some extensions that match my hair because my hair is like not quite ombre. It's almost, it's still a little bit ombre, but it's like so such of a deeper color. It's a very soft ombre. And I've had a lot of trouble finding extensions to match my hair and I have finally found some. So these are the extensions. These are the Birch. I don't even know how to pronounce this girl's last name. Mm -mm. I don't know her story, but all I know is her extensions match my hair. So actually these are just the Bellamy hair extensions. And I'll link the exact ones down below because it says on the box that goes in here and I don't have one with me. But it comes with this hanger. I have these all over the house normally. I just put them together so I could show you guys and act like I have my life together. Um, these are the exact color of my hair. Like I'm just thrilled. I've been wearing them nonstop. If you look at my pictures on Instagram, I've gotten so many comments about my hair and it's because it looks so full and it's the extensions. Now I don't have them in today. Obviously they're right here in my hand, but whenever I do, my hair just goes from like a five to a 10. Next product to talk about is the Dr. Brandt. This is so random because Dr. Brandt is like a skincare line but they made a facial primer and this is a pore refiner primer so it helps blend out on smooth out the pores if you have large pores I do right through here lightly I don't know I don't know why like why is that happening to me pore refiner it, I remember I had a sample of it and I kept the sample forever because I loved it so much but I don't know I, I didn't register me that it was Dr. Brandt and you could just like get it from like 
like Sephora or wherever. This is amazing facial primer. So all you have to do is blend it out on your skin before you put it on your foundation or whatever makeup you're gonna be wearing that day. And it is amazing for smoothing out unwanted areas. It's not a color correcting primer, but it's definitely there if you have like a texture in your skin that you want covered, such as large pores, acne scars, something like that. This is probably like the best one and it is mattifying. So it's for oily skin. Got oily skin? Girl, this might fix you up. Next, I wanna talk about this Kaplan. This bottle is so gross. It has like water droplets all over it because I keep it in my bathroom, like in the shower. It's got water leaking everywhere all over me. This is the Kaplan MD Cell Renewal Micro Exfoliant. This is probably like the teeny tiniest exfoliant ever, meaning like the most fine grain exfoliant ever. What I actually use this for is my chest. I noticed, I took a, like a picture on my cell phone. I noticed like my chest looked discolored and I looked down, I mean, it's like hard to see your chest. You know, you're like, ah. my chest was a little bit discolored. Like there were some darker areas, lighter areas. So I started exfoliating my chest with this stuff and it made a world of difference. Like my chest is all one color now. I had to be really consistent with it and I had to moisturize my chest really well because exfoliants can be very dry. But I did and I like fixed my chest right up. So I think if you had some discoloration on your face as far as just darkness in certain areas, if you did an exfoliant often that wasn't too harsh like this one right here, it could really fix you up because it fixed my problems. <laughs> that is all for my monthly favorites. I covered so much stuff that I have been absolutely adoring and I was really happy to do my November favorites for you guys because I've been wanting to talk about so much great things. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you all in my next video. For those of you who stay to the end of the video, don't forget to enter my 500k giveaway. I'm giving away iPads, some Kindle Fires, all that jazz. I'll have it linked right down below. Ooh, ooh.